Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to demonstrate some of the new features in the Premium Pack. We're gonna cover parallel, perpendicular and tangent lines. Let me start with parallel lines. So I'm going to create the first line and now I'm creating the parallel line to the first line. You create parallel line in exactly the same way as you create a regular line. Just move it close enough to become parallel. As soon as you can see these two little marks on both lines, it means that lines became parallel. Now if you move line AB, line CD stays parallel and it changes its size proportionally. You can break the connection if you move line CD away. Creating perpendicular lines is quite easy as well. Let me demonstrate that. Let's make line AB perpendicular to line CD. I just move it close enough to become perpendicular. And again, as soon as, as, soon as you can see the right angle mark, it means that the lines became perpendicular. Now if I move line CD, line AB stays perpendicular. Another feature I'm going to talk about is tangent lines. Let's create a circle first. As you can guess, you create a tangent line in the same way as, as a regular line and you just move it close enough to become tangent. You could see that snapping to parallel, tangent and perpendicular lines happens automatically. Sometimes you don't want that. You control this behavior from the snapping settings. The, you change the snapping settings in this little window. For example, you can turn off snapping to tangent. Now, if I move the line, it doesn't snap to tangent automatically. In the same way, you can turn off snapping to parallel and to perpendicular. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.